Throughout the Gospels, we see that fishing is a very common activity during Jesus' time. And we know that four of the twelve disciples were fishermen. And that means that for Peter, Andrew, James, and John, fishing was their career. It was their livelihood. It was how they put money in their pockets or food on their table or how they paid their bills. And so it's probably not shocking to us that some of the best stories about Jesus, the miracles of walking on water or calming the storm, take place at or around the water. One of the best stories that I really love is in Luke 5. And we hear the disciples had been out all night and they were fishing and they hadn't had much luck. And Jesus comes to them after this unsuccessful trip and he says, well, why don't you go out and try just one more time? Why don't you throw your nets out into the deep area? They're probably a little hesitant, a bit skeptical, but they respect Jesus and so they go and they try it one more time. And as they've casted their nets in, they're starting to, to pull them back out of the water and they're beginning to see that this is not just a good catch. This is a massive catch. This is huge. So big that the nets are starting to break as they're pulling it in. And then it's in this moment, after realizing what had happened, that Simon begins to see who Jesus is and what Jesus is capable of. And perhaps what Jesus can do through Peter. And it's in this moment that Jesus comes to Peter and says, I want you to follow me, to be one of my disciples. And he uses this line that we probably heard before. He says, from now on, I will make you fishers of men. As the church, we see ourselves in a similar role as Peter, as people who are concerned about others. Our job, our mission, our purpose is about being in community, in relationship, in ministry, in mission with people. And you've probably heard about this debt reduction campaign, this casting nets campaign. I think ultimately the essence of it, it boils down to being about people. It's about dreaming of who it is that we can impact with future ministries, if we can remove some barriers or some financial restraints. It's about thinking through how we can impact those lives we're already touching in a greater way. How can we expand ministries and missions that already take place? It's about setting ourselves up in the future to do ministry with those people we haven't even dreamed of yet, to do those ministries that God has not yet called us to, but being in a position to respond when that call comes. I think this Casting Nuts campaign is about transforming lives. It's about impacting people. People in this city, in this community, in this region, so that they can come to experience the same abundant life that we find in Jesus.